Welcome to Couch Warrior TV. You are watching Death Mentor, an assassin's survival guide. Today we're talking about the way of the bow. The long game. And when I say long game, I'm talking about the long shot game. It's one of the more satisfying things you can do as a archer or a bow-based assassin in the game of Skyrim. Getting the long shot is just a great, great feeling when you make that almost impossible shot. So here we are today. The character we're following is Fleet Featherstone. He is from my Aranus Arcana Let's Play series. He is currently at level 33. And his skills as an archer are up in about the 90s as far as level is concerned. So what we're doing here is Surprise is absolutely essential. In order to play the long game, you need to be able to set up your shots, which requires time, which means stealth. So we're doing this in broad daylight, which is another disadvantage. So what we're doing is shooting from cover positions. Shooting from cover positions. We're looking for opportunities to take our opponents when they're standing still or when they're walking slowly. And in this shot here... We have to compensate for distance, which means that you need to be intimately familiar with how your bow operates at ranges like this, which means practice. It also means that you can do some research. One of the things that you can do is go to a target, and you can take practice shots, compare the bow that you are using to maybe a bow you want to upgrade to. Each bow is different. I have chosen to use a bound bow, I've been using a bound bow for many, many levels, since probably level 15, which gives me a really good idea of how this bow is going to perform at various ranges. I can be fairly confident now. I've, I've used it enough. So what I highly recommend doing is, you know, choosing a bow, getting comfortable with it. If you need to go to a target and do a little research uh, to see, you know, kind of what the arc is on a long-range shot, in comparison to maybe another bow, or just to practice in general on the target to figure out you know, how much you need to lead a target or how much you need to compensate for range, I highly recommend you do that. But over time, as you continue to use that same bow, you'll get a feeling for it, and you'll kind of know at, at certain ranges you'll be able to feel how much you need to aim up over your target in order to hit what you're aiming at. So our goal here in Valheim is we want to basically clear the entire place using long shots. We don't ever want to get close enough to our opponent that they would see us or have an opportunity to swing at us or even fire their own bow at us. And so far we've done that. We have two opponents left. They're both inside this tower across the way. We're going to use some of our other assassin tactics, which are basically to draw the targets into the locations where we want to perform the shot. The bandit chief is on alert right now. Normally he's standing on the platform at the top. But from this vantage point, I can also see that the, the door to the walkway down below is not open, which indicates to me that he and his goon are still inside the tower. So I'm going to wait patiently. Eventually, the boss is going to go back up to his perch, and that's where we are going to take him out. Now this is a very long shot across the gorge, here he comes. So I'm going to allow him to get into position. I'm going to wait till he stops moving and he's at rest. Then I'm going to take aim and then compensate for range by aiming up over his head slightly. Right up over his head. Right there. He's done. Now there's one guy left. There's one guy left in there. And he is a typical bandit. He is not a chief. He is, he, he very rarely will come up to the top. I might be able to draw him up, but I think I'm going to have better luck drawing him down onto the walkway. So what I'm going to do here, using misdirection, I'm firing my bow through the window. I'm aiming at the upper part of the window sill That carries my arrow down. It arcs down through the window. I'm trying to draw this bandit down to the first floor. Now I'm going to put one into the door draw him down to the door and we wait for that door to open there it is doors open he's not coming out let's put one through the window I'm gonna draw him back up to the window I'm gonna use eagle eye 
because he's just at the edge of my range. There he is, right there. Go. Through the window. That is the long game, my friends. Nothing more satisfying for an archer than those long, long shots. Incidentally, um, I am using a standard bound bow here. And I am far from maxed out when it comes to things like overdraw for damage. I'm using a mod that makes uh, my arrows spin during kill cams because I'm just that vain. And I hope that you enjoyed this Death Mentor presentation. And I look forward to seeing you for the next one. Thank you. You've been watching Death Mentor, an Assassin's Survival Guide. Please rate, like, and subscribe. It helps me a lot. And you can get updates on this series on the website at couchwarrior.tv or follow on Twitter at couchwarriortv. Thank you.